Good day viewers, my name is Darlington Okoka and I welcome you to Dell with Electrical YouTube channel. Today we shall be discussing on a very vital topic on why you should not connect aluminium and copper wires together. I've been to several sites and I discovered that aluminium and copper wire are being worn together either because there's scarcity of copper wire at that point in time or because the incoming is copper and the outgoing is aluminium so you just want them together definitely it's going to get there's going to be conductivity but how long is it going to last so today i'm going to tell you why you should not connect copper and aluminium together and if you must connect copper and aluminium together what are the things or what connectors are you supposed to use now what are the why sh why is it that there's always failure when aluminium and copper are connected together if you discover the atomic number of copper is what 29 while the atomic number of aluminium is 13. So when you subtract that, you see that there's a large gap, more than half gap between aluminium and copper. And when there's a large gap like that, it tells you that the th thermal expansion rate or the expansion rate of one is higher than the other. So when when it wants to, when there's heat, by the time you are passing current through it, heat is being generated. So the expansive activity of uh, aluminium will be higher than that of copper. So when you wind two things together and one is expanded, the other one is not expanded, what do you feel? That joint will definitely feel. And by the time the weather is cool, when it contracts, by the time it's contracting, aluminium contracts faster than copper. So when it's very it's contracting too, that joint, that place you think that you've tightened, by the time it contracts, it also feels. You see that after like six months, when you go back to what you've tied properly with your pliers, you will discover that it has failed. Another thing again is galvanic corrosion. Now, the, when you when you join two dissimilar elements together and it's in the rain, you you use your PVC tape to wind them together. You feel that you've protected it. Definitely, you've not. By the time a small drop of water touch that connection there's going to be corrosion. That's why you see that sometimes when you go to some connection, you see all those white, white things like corrosion coming out from it. It's going to fail your connection because aluminum and copper, they are of different physical and chemical properties. So they cannot go and they cannot last together. So, but if it's inevitable that you have to connect aluminum and copper together, there are some connectors that you are supposed to use. You call them copper to aluminum connectors. Now, we have one here. This is one of the ones that is majorly used in on site. This is called the copper to aluminium connector. If you look at this properly, you will discover that this part of it is copper and this part of it is aluminium. So it has been built to withstand the expansion rate. So whenever this aluminium is expanding, it doesn't affect copper. When when copper is on its own, it doesn't affect aluminium. So I can I'm going to give you an instance now. This is a copper wire. And this is an aluminium wire. So what most people do, you see them, they will connect it like this. So you see, this is copper, this is aluminium. They will join it together like this. I just disconnected this from the side because it was always sparking. Somebody just wanted to tap. This is, this is a supply cable. This is normal with clean cable supply. So somebody wanted to tap. He connected copper to it and tapped to his building. It was always sparking. Without even the knowledge of the owner of this cable, it was always sparking and it was affecting the owner. So when we traced, we discovered that copper was connected to this. This is wrong. You can see that it's not even tight again. And by the time the person did this thing, it was very tight. So this aluminum has expanded when there was heat. And it, the moment it expands, it became very tight. But then when, when the song came and there was nothing connected to it, it, it contracted and that is why it's free like this. So if definitely, whenever you connect aluminum to copper, this is what you are going to experience. So today I'm going to show you that if I were to be in the shoes of this person that wanted to connect this aluminum to copper, I'm going to show you what I will do. Now, this is our copper cable. I'm going to crimp it. Let me fetch it out. So this is it. So I want to connect this to this. I, I don't need to join them together because that's dissimilar. This is copper, this is aluminum. So what I will do is that this particular position that has copper, this particular position has aluminum. I'll put my aluminum connector here. I'll, I will, I'll put my I'll put it here. You can see that the, the aluminum has been connected. While this is the copper, then I will connect the copper here. 
by the time I, I will scroll it to hold it to have a grip fed before I use my Now this is a 14 bolt, so you use your 14 spanner to tighten it properly. So you can see that it's properly connected like this. In this case now, there's nothing that will make this thing feel. In the next 20 to 30 years, this connection will still be very, very accurate. No failure, no disturbance so this is one of the connectors that we have available in the market then on my screen i can show you other connectors you could you could see this other one is a pin you you put your aluminum on this part and you put your copper so this one is is, is going to be if you are connecting from a cable to a board or a switch gear if you want to connect you have, you have normally it's advised that on your switch gears or any of your equipment it's supposed to be copper but if per venture your source cable is aluminium so what, what do you do you connect the aluminium to this connector then at the head of the connector is copper so you can now put the copper on the gear to collect to connect so all these are the various type of connector you can see the other one too is a pin connector too you can put your aluminium in the pin part and put your copper in the copper part and you sp screw them together and it's connected so it's very important that you use connectors to connect aluminium to copper it's discouraged it's unprofessional to use your plier to wind copper and aluminium together it will definitely fail it will work on the first day that you do it but i can assure you that within the next three to six months that joint would fail so i believe i've been able to educate you on how to connect aluminium to copper together without joining them or by using connectors which will make it last longer if this video has been very useful to you can you click the subscription button to subscribe to our youtube channel or click on the notification icon so as to get notified when subsequent educative videos are posted on this channel thank you very much mm -hmm.